Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from azurautomation.com and welcome to another video of our test project course. And in this video, I'll be talking about working with c -sharp .NET Core SDK creation of add-ons. So this video is going to be a complete continuation of our previous video. So let's get started. So now in our previous video, we discussed how we can actually create this particular add-ons. And then we also discussed how we can try to test this particular add-on in our clear text box base class. And then we were about to consume this particular class over here, unit test onecs class to perform an action. And finally, we were about to consume this particular clear text space within this unit test onecs file to perform an action. So we discussed about all those steps in our previous video. So this video is going to be a complete continuation of our previous video. So please go ahead and watch the previous video for more information over here. So the final operation that we need to perform for testing this add-on is basically to call the runner is equal to runner factory, which is exactly the same way that how we did in our previous video. I'm just going to call the runner factory of instance property of create web. You can see in our previous video, we used the same create web concept. I'm going to be calling the same create web over here as well. And then I'm going to be passing two things. One is the developer token and then the automated browser type. So you can see that it expects us to do uh, automated browser type. Since it expects the automated browser type, we cannot use that within this particular test method. Rather, we need to do that within a constructor. So I'm just going to create a constructor. So you can just do CTOR and double tap. This is going to create a constructor. It's a very good cheat. And then here you can type the automation automated browser type as this. So you need to pass two things. The one is the developer token and second one is the automated browser type that you can pass over here. But where to get the developer token? Once again, you can go to the test project over here and then you can log in to get this particular uh, developer token. I guess I already have that opened in my window over here. I can go to the developers and then I can go to the developer key and then I can copy the developer token and then I can paste it over here. That's it. This way I can complete my runner factory instantiation. So the final thing that we need to do is to consume the runner action method that we created in our clear test base.cs file. This one. So in order for that to be done, you can do that in many different ways. You can just call this particular uh, clear text base class, something like this. Hit control dot. You can see since we have added the dependency of the clear text box add-on within our test project in our previous video, we get this over here. And then hit dot. You can see we have this particular run action method to be performed. And it expects us to pass the runner. So now you will be wondering why this runner has been instantiated over here. This is the purpose, guys. I'll be calling the runner here. Save it. That's it. So this way, I can now run the test and see how things actually works. Pretty cool. And you can see that within my test project, my agent is currently up and running. It's in green symbol over here. You can see this is the latest agent. 0.52.21 so make sure that you download that because this add-on also has got many different features so i have already that in my machine so i'm just going to save that and then i'll be just right click it just run the test so you can see that there is this particular tests of edge this time which is nothing but it's coming from the uh, test fixture basically so if you have automated browser uh, type as uh, Chrome, then it's going to be showing the Chrome as well. Cool. You can see that it typed the username and password and then it also cleared the text box of the password. So I can run this once again and I will show you how it looks like. So you can see that it launched the browser, it entered the username and password and also cleared that. Pretty cool. Very awesome. So now if I want to run that in the Chrome browser, I can just copy this and paste over here. I just type the Chrome. I'm going to save that and then I'm going to run this. And you can see that I have not specified anywhere about the Chrome driver or the Edge driver in my machine. 
because all these edge driver or chrome driver are something which is available within the test project itself we don't really have to download the latest version or something like that all those problems are completely gone so the test project teams are really taking all the heavy stuffs for us and they are doing it for us so you can see that i specified two test fixture and it ran in two different browsers very cool all right so as you can see our add-on is actually working so basically whatever we are saying it is clearing the text for any control that we are passing in over here the final thing now is to upload this particular add-on within the test project portal and see how it actually works so for that I'm gonna go to the test project portal I'm gonna go to the add-ons and then I'm gonna create a new add-on so make sure while creating an add-on you give a meaningful name and descriptions and also if there is any source code link and documentation links you can specify that as well which is very cool so I'm gonna specify that as clear text that's the name of my add-on and this is for clear text that's the uh, tag you can specify multiple tags here I'm gonna hit next and this is the manifest file which I was talking about in our slide in our previous video so you basically need to specify the permission if you want if the add-on does require any permission like file system or adb or network or environment you can specify that as well so as you can see our add-on is pretty simple and straightforward i don't even require any one of these permission so i'm just going to hit generate and download the manifest it's going to download one for me and then i'm going to show that in the folder i'm going to copy this guy i'm going to close this and i will go to my project I'll just right click, open the folder file in Explorer, go to the bin, debug this guy. I'm going to paste it over here. I'll rename this guy to manifest. That's it. So you can see that we now have this clear text box add on DLL file, and I can now zip it up. Here is the add on that we have created 12 KB, all good for us right now. This is the only thing that we really require to be passed in for our add-ons of test project right so I'll just go over here I'll hit next click the drop the files and then go to the clear text box add-on over here go to the bin debug and this is the add-on that I was talking about so we are just gonna upload the add-on that we just created I'm gonna hit open upload the file so this is gonna upload our add-on this time cool and you can see the final thing is the review action so this is the one which I was talking about in our slide the element type so this is pretty new and which was not there while we discussed the Java project so here you can specify the element type if you want during the initial creation of the add-on but there is no harm if not specifying that but specifying it is a good practice basically so now here you can see there are different kinds of element type that is supported by test project and you can see oh my god there are so many element types being supported by test project so if you want to specify one element type or maybe two you can do that as well so i want text box and i also want text uh, area and let's say if i say it also supports the plain text or something like that i'm going to specify that i'm not sure about the plain text so i'm probably going to close this i know these two text box are basically supported by my add-on so i'm just gonna hit save and return to add-on so you can see that it supports the platform as web and there are two control that it actually supports the element types right and also says that require c sharp sdk version 0.52.8 while using this particular add-on i'm gonna hit finish that's it and if you go to the my add-ons you can see that my own add-on the clear text add-on comes in over here and then i will be going to my home and i will go to the exit automation test and then i'm going to create a new test and i'm going to run that test in my project and i'll see how things work so for doing that i'm going to switch to my chrome browser as you can see this is actually microsoft's edge browser which is currently not supported by test project and even many companies don't support it yet it is still in uh, development beta of uh, microsoft so i'm just gonna not use this particular browser and then i'm gonna switch to the chrome browser so i'm gonna go to the user automation test this time 
uh, and I will create a new test. So I'll be creating a new test of the web. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to call this as uh, verify add-ons. That's my whole test is all about. And then I'm going to hit next. And I'll be selecting the EA demo app. We already have that. We have already created that in our previous videos of this course. So I'm just going to select that. I'm going to hit next. And then I want to record basically. So I'm just going to create a start demo test basically. So I hope that's exactly the same EA demo app that we saw in the uh, execution before. So I can see it opens up the new browser. Seems like it's the same browser, same website that we're looking for. Uh, I'm going to just drag this guy in here. So I'm just going to type admin as the username and password is admin as well. That's it. This is the only recording I have. And the rest of the thing I'm going to be doing with the add-ons that we have created. So for doing that, you can see there is a plus symbol here, which is going to be for adding a step. So I'm just going to add this particular step here. Just drag that. And you can see that for this particular element action, for this particular element, I'm going to perform an action. So here, the element action that I'm going to be doing is this particular element action, which is correct but I'm going to select the element which I'm going to perform the action. So basically I need to clear the password uh, text box. Why not this time I will be selecting the username to clear because we already saw uh, the clearing of the text box password before. So I'm going to select the uh, username this time and I need to select an action. So if you remember in our previous videos, we already discussed about actions, element type and all those stuffs. That's exactly it is. So for selecting an action, I'm really selecting this action and you can see test project now brings me up this guy. Clears content. This is not mine. Anyways, there is a clear text. So you can see the clear text has got this particular uh, Lego block symbol. So this Lego block symbol basically says that this is add-on of test project and it currently have no description basically. So if you if you select that, you can see that it brings you up this particular step. Clear text from the text box of the web UI. If you remember, this is exactly the same text that is actually coming from our description over here. So now I'm just going to be hitting a create, which means this is going to create a step for me. And now you can see that it even cleared the text from the username control. Pretty cool. And now if I want to run this whole thing again, I'm just going to run that. You can see it's entering username and password. It also cleared the username text for me. And that the text has got passed. And you can see the symbol. It implies that it is basically add-ons of test project. So now if I hit the details, you can also see the details on the fly. And do you see everything is happening during the record operation? So you're basically doing a record operation. You're also creating a custom step. You're also adding a add-on for that. And also you can verify the details of the add-on on the fly. So everything is happening during the record operation. So I'm just going to close this guy. I'm also going to uh, close this particular window and I'm going to hit leave. So which means it's going to create the test for me. Verify add-ons. If I go there, you can see the test is actually coming. So that's it guys, this is how we can create an add-on and we can run the test within our test project as well as in our local machine. In our next video, we'll discuss how cool the add-ons are so that we can use this particular add-on that we have created in our C-sharp and we are going to be using that particular add-on within a Java project. So you can see that the complete cross-language support which is provided by test project seamlessly to perform an action much easily without you to perform any actions. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.